Okay, round two. Got the choice. We'll play first. Mm, I don't really like this hand. Six drop and a removal spell and five lands. That's not exactly what we're looking for here. This, on the other hand, much better. And we even get the full value Draconic Roar. That was definitely a good mulligan. Wow. All sorts of dragon value this game. It's actually good for us. No reason to use a Draconic Roar now. This is a surprising attack. Okay. So, looks like we're forced to use the Draconic Roar, because if we use Foul Tongue, he just sacks that. But, I'm, you know, you're not going to see me complaining, so let's reveal... When does it ask me to reveal? Did the right one, right? Cast, reveal a dragon card from your hand. Okay. I guess I just pay first. And then, okay. So we kill that. Deal some damage to our opponent. Definitely too bold of a swing by our opponent. With that hand of Silumgar. Dutiful Attendant, okay. It's not going to quite work as well with our Foul Tongue Invocation, but... Um, well, this is interesting. So I can foul tongue him, he sacks attendant, he gets back captain, I swing team, he blocks swine, he takes two, he goes to seven. Or or what? I just play Shrieker, get in for five. I almost want to hold off on that. Almost. <laughs> hmm. I guess I don't, you know, I don't even have to swing with Gorswine either. I definitely don't like him getting back the captain. Foul Tongue's not exactly going to get better. Um, I think we hold off. I want to see what he does this turn. I feel like the end of turn Foul Tongue, if he doesn't have a play, is potentially better for us. Well, now I guess... Well, yeah, I guess we do. Let's 
So he'll sack the attendant. He'll get back his captain. We do get to attack next turn. Still not a great attack. And, I mean, we do get to gain some life, which is good. He's going to sack his attendant, get back his captain. Or maybe he sacks his Silmgar to get back his captain. No, I... Actually, I don't know. Looks like he doesn't know either. I just didn't want to give him the luxury of the choice between... I feel like Sultai Emissary is too good of a sack target for him. All right, he did sack the attendant. He's going to get an Emissary. But mm, we're still in okay shape. I can at least swing with my goblins, which is nice. So I swing with Shrieker plus Goblins. I feel like I want to save my Gorswine until... Um, I want to save my Gorswine until I get a uh, Teamer Battle Rage or something. I mean, theoretically, I could have saved my Lightning Shrieker until that time, but him being at three life, I think, is certainly not irrelevant. Plus, that's shuffled back into my library now, so I could potentially just draw it again. Do I have any way to just kill him outright? I've got Twin Bolt. I think the answer is no. No, I don't. So the only top deck that kills him out right now is Lightning Shrieker, which is okay. Oh my god. My opponent's going to be upset. All right, uh, so Foul Tongue Invocations seem like they're going to be pretty awful in this match. He's got Emissary and Attendant. I feel like it's more worth our while to just bring in the Battle Rages. Do I already have two main deck? No, where's my... Didn't I have three of them? Oh, I was like... No, actually I don't have three of them because I said during the draft there's no reason I would ever want three of them. So instead, let's do Kindled Fury. And we'll ditch the Foul Tongues. Hmm. Yeah, I think this is fine. Try this out. This is certainly a keep. Opponent keeps as well. Huh. Well, Shambling Goblin's pretty good against us. Guess I can do Douse and Gloom pre Gorswine, though. Maybe it won't come down to that. We'll see. No white mana from our opponent yet, though. Well, hmm. Feel as though it's still in our best interest to hit the Shambling Goblin. Although, I guess if he plays Dromoka Captain here, it's in my best interest to douse and gloom that. 
No plays. Draconic Roar, but no dragons. Um, yeah, I think we actually want to hit the, the Shambling Goblin. I think we're actually going to do it now. If he's got Artful Maneuver, it screws me more if I do it on his turn. And granted, we're leaving him with the higher power guy, but I think it's actually better for us because of the, I don't know, we'll find out. I'm not sure if this is right. Like I said, we're taking more damage, but Shambling Goblin with a Gore Swine in my hand just seems not as good. Well, he didn't have a three drop play last turn, so looks like he does not again. Okay. Well, we're going to drop an Outrider first. See if he's got some removal for it. All right. Hmm. Okay. So second red would have been good there, but we can still just swing. I doubt he blocks. If he does, we have the Kindled Fury. If he doesn't, we'll follow up with the Gore Swine. Well, he's certainly mulling it over. I, I, this is actually the play I prefer. Because I wanted to follow up with Gorswine. So if he leaves all his mana up and leaves the crew shock back, I think it's in our best interest to not go for the Kindled Fury play. I think that's too dangerous with enduring victory and stuff like that. All right, looks like he's just trying to race, which I'm okay with. Okay, or not try and race. I don't want to make this trade. So we'll take two. I think we're still in a position where we can afford to take two, especially with a humble defector in hand. Okay. Likely going to have to kill the Dramoka Captain. But eh, Behemoth's not bad here, actually. Behemoth's actually kind of good here. So um, I can swing with the Outrider. Problem, of course, being if he blocks, I have to Kindled Fury. No, I guess we play the Behemoth and pass. I think that is, in fact, our best play.
Okay. Tomb shell's not bad. No attacks. Which I'm okay with. Here's a lightning shrieker. So now Draconic Roar's turned on turned on rather. Which is good. Um I don't know if I need to use Draconic Roar just yet. I feel as though the best play If I had another mountain it would be easy. It might be in our best interest to wait, but he is like at a point of being tapped out. But I like having the choice with Draconic Fury in case he has like something I need to answer with it. I don't think I can profitably attack anyway, so I'm running a bit of a risk here, but we're going to pass. My plan is to Draconic Roar his Hand of Silmgar at the end of his turn, or take the damage from Hand of Silmgar and Draconic Roar Captain instead, maybe. Although, I don't know if that works either. Not too fearful of the Dramoka Captain at the moment. It's just dashing. Uh, I don't want to Draconic Roar that. Beautiful attendant. Hmm. This makes it a bit more challenging. Well, now it may actually, I guess, be in my best interest to kill the reckless imp. Not thrilled about it, but I can't really attack all that well next turn, even with the Kindled Fury. If I kill the Hand of... Let me think about this. I take two, end of his turn, I kill Hand of Silmgar. My turn, attack, everything. He blocks Tomb Shell, Behemoth, Crew Shock, Outrider... Captain Gorswine or Attendant. Yeah, I don't think I have a great attack yet. I gotta wait for those Teamer Battle Rages. Maybe I just keep top decking Lightning Shrieker for the win like last time. I mean, Behemoth is certainly a good blocker at the moment. Could have also just taken the damage from Reckless Imp, but I'm a little bit more willing to engage in, like, a bit more of a drawn-out combat scenario at the moment. Well, that's a good draw, so we get to play Humble Defect Defector plus Huge Stone Retainer. This is making our board state look a lot better. So now we can't block with Behemoth, but I'm not overly concerned about that. I mean, theoretically, I could use Humble Defector, but I don't know if I'm thrilled about that right now either. I feel like. We have the slight advantage on the board at the moment. I mean, we, we have the power, but we're just like a removal spell away from getting a pretty nice board state. Well, Emissary's not too intimidating.
So let me try and map this out. There's our second red. So, um, and I'm at the point where Lightning Shrieker Team or Battle Rage is pretty good. I have Kindled Fury, so I can swing Outrider, Behemoth, Huge Stone Retainer. He has Dutiful Attendant and Emissary, though, which isn't great for us. I don't really want to use Humble Defector all that much. What are his blocks? His blocks are likely Crewshock, Outrider, and then maybe Hand of Silmgar, but Dutiful Attendant or Sultai Emissary can also block here, too. Might actually be good for me, though. Um... Mm. I think I want to wait. I'm going to try and play this a little patiently. I don't feel great about my attacks here. And like I said, I'm actually saving the Lightning Shrieker for a team or battle rage. It's just like 10 points of damage. All right, just plays a land and passes. It looks like we're both kind of in top deck mode. Well, that's a hell of a top deck. That kills quite a few of my opponent's creatures. Hmm. Mm, all right. Guess that's six damage I'm not taking, so that's a plus. Although I wouldn't mind having a Shockmaw Dragon on this board. All right, I guess we can actually pocket lands, play around Mind Rot. I don't want to use Humble Defector either. I'm not I'm not convinced Humble Defector is correct. I feel like Humble Defector is what I use if at this point if I'm gonna lose. There's our first team of Battle Rage, so I can Shrieker for ten. But no plays from my opponent make me a little bit skeptical of doing that right now. I'd rather have my op some of my opponent's mana tap down before I do that. Um, I do have Kindled Fury plus Teamer Battle Rage on this board state, though, which isn't bad. I could go land, Shrieker, Kindled Fury, and Teamer Battle Rage. That's actually pretty good. My opponent could max crack back for two, five, six, seven, eight, nine, or ten when this dies, I guess. Maybe this is a good time to attack. He doesn't have great blocks, right? Swing with everything but the gore swine, because that's just too easy of a block. But even the defector kind of... Hmm. Huh. I don't feel great about this attack just yet. I feel like he still has some decent blocks. I'm going to wait for him to play a spell. I think I'm going to stick to that plan. Might not be the best idea, but I feel like even with the Battle Rage and Kindled Fury, I don't have the best attacks. I mean, granted, my attacks certainly don't get better when he plays another Death Toucher, but... Warbringer's not bad. Let's drop him.
I mean, I'm not ahead on life, so going all in can be pretty dangerous. Okay. So his plan is to kill the Outrider, I'm guessing. Sacking the Emissary or the Attendant to get back probably the Shambling Goblin. Pretty surprised he killed the Warbringer. Well, we're going to go over the Shrieker Battle Rage play now because it's just it, half his life. And then I can hope to just draw some Lightning Shrieker for days. I mean, theoretically, you don't ever run out. Oh, we got uh, Reckless Imp back, I see. So we're going to drop the Shrieker plus Battle Rage it. Dragon fodder's not bad. Get in 10 points of damage here. Guess we can't play Dragon Fodder now, but that's okay. So we don't have to use Humble Defector just yet. May have to use it soon. So, I guess I can... Uh, I don't know if I want to attack yet, but maybe I... Uh, might actually be at the point where I have to. Let's swing with... BMS... Well, oh. I don't have many turns left, I guess. Let's pass this turn. Next turn, I think I'm going to have to use Humble Defector. I've got four turns left with Reckless Imp. Not sure my attack got any better there. Butcher's not bad. I don't know quite what to take out with it. Guess I probably take out a hand of Silmgar. I guess. I still think it's in our best interest to wait. I mean, Volcanic Rush would be the optimal spell in this board state, but... I don't feel like I've... I mean, granted, I didn't do the math, but I feel like it would take too much time to figure out exactly... Like, there's no way to tell exactly how he's going to block, you know? I probably just end up using Humble Defector this turn, though. Try and figure out what I want to do. Ooh. Well, I guess I'm dead next turn, so... I don't really have a ton of choices left. I guess Humble Defector now is, is pretty good. Potentially draw my... Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm certainly dead next turn, so... Gonna have to find something. 
Yeah, all right. So we're dead. Unless I come up with something pretty good here. Let's use the defector. There's our teamer battle rage. Well, I think this is definitely our best shot here. Got to go for it. All right, so he goes to seven, and he's going to have to do some pretty good blocks or else we just kill him with Teamer Battle Rage. Plus, he's tapped out, too, so. I mean, there's a pretty high chance we kill him with Teamer Battle Rage, especially if he just blocks there. That's it for blocks? All right, well, let's bust the battle rage. It's tapped out too, so no worries there. All right, well, we got the match through some patience which is cool. Uh, it was a super grindy match, but uh, our deck's working really well. I mean, uh, what's his face? Humble Defector just won us that game, and uh, so did these double teamer battle rages, so that was pretty cool. Uh, all right, we'll see you in the finals.